Yeah. We've got two callers, young ladies yeah. with, with fibroids. Yeah. All right? They form a very interesting group of patients who you want to treat. So they come to the gynecologist and they've got fibroids and they've got symptoms. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you treat them? If you offer, you don't want to take out their wounds. I mean, don't need oh, they still need them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you don't yeah. want no, to no, do no, that. No. Yeah. No. So they left with surgical option, myomectomy, or embolization. Okay. If you cut a young lady under 30, myomectomy. Myomectomy is the removal of the fibroids that would live in the uterus intact. That's right. Yeah. That's okay. right. Mm. And Dr. Bonsha, correct me if I'm wrong, but you have a very high recurrence rate. Mm. Recurrence rate, fibroids coming back I see. Mm. after myomectomy. Mm. Now, this is very particular. It goes back to why do women get fibroids? We see a lot of fibroids in black women, as we spoke about earlier. Mm. What we haven't said is we see fibroids growing back after myomectomy in black women. Does it grow back on the same site where it was removed? What's interesting is, yeah. yeah. We can, well, the surgeon can take out the fibroids that they can see, mm. but some fibroids you can't even get to and some you can't see because they're seedlings. I see. So th it is them that grow back. I see. So now you have a 26-year-old, 28-year-old. She's got fibroids. She's symptomatic, bleeding, pain. We're not talking pregnancy just yet. Mm. And you're going to treat her. So you cut her. Now she's 30 and she's got fibroids again. Yeah. You cut her again. She's 35. You cut her oh. again. And... You see where I'm going. This yeah. is becoming, she's becoming butchered regularly <laughs> all the time. Yeah, of course. I've been present mm. at a number of repeat myomectomies. Mm. It's hard. Mm. It's a lot of scarring, a lot of adhesions, a lot of, it's difficult. First myomectomy, not so difficult for a moderately sized fibroid. So then we introduce the concept of why don't you embolize mm. young women and say to them, well, after embolization, we target the seedlings as well as the big fibroids, which means we can leave them disease free for a much longer period. Because you've stopped them over there. You've and you can them. identify the seedlings, the small ones? At uh, the angiography that I we do, see. sometimes mm -hmm. we can't see the small ones, yeah. but we know that our target vessels yeah. are going to All right.